Hey everyone, here's a quick question. Have you ever scrolled to the bottom of a website and been impressed or maybe not so impressed by the footer? That small section can make a big difference in how your online store is perceived and even how it ranks on Google. It's the final piece of your website puzzle. And today we're diving deep into how you can edit and customize the footer in big commerce to make it work for your brand. Now, let's be honest, big commerce isn't exactly the most intuitive platform out there. If you're coming from something like Shopify, which is known for its ease of use, BigCommerce can feel a bit more complex and less user-friendly. But that's exactly why it's so important to know how to tweak every part of your store, including the footer. By the end of this video, you'll not only know how to customize your footer, but you'll also understand why it's crucial, not just for your brand, but also for search engine optimization. So stick with me and let's turn this challenge into an opportunity. All right, let's kick things off with step one, accessing the footer in BigCommerce. If you're familiar with other store builders, this part should feel pretty familiar. First, head over to the storefront section in the left-hand menu of your BigCommerce dashboard. Once you're there, click on themes. This is where you'll see all the themes currently active on your store. Now, hit the customize button next to your active theme to open up the theme designer. When the BigCommerce store designer loads up, just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see the footer of your website. Now, here's where BigCommerce gets a bit tricky. Unlike other sections, you can't edit the footer directly from here. But don't worry, in the next steps, I'll show you exactly how to take control of every part of your footer. Changing the background color is a great way to make your footer more visually appealing and aligned with your brand's identity. To change the color, head over to the Theme Styles tab in the left menu. From there, click on the Header and Footer section. This will open up a modal where you can customize various elements. Scroll down a bit until you find the Footer Background option. Click on the Color Picker to choose a new color, or enter a specific color code if you have one in mind. Quick tip! Pick a color that best represents your brand, something that complements the rest of your website's design. Once you've made your choice, give it a couple of seconds and you'll see the color of your footer update right away. And just like that, your footer has a fresh new look that fits perfectly with your brand. Now that we've given your footer a fresh new look with a background color, let's move on to step three, changing the navigation in your footer. This is a fantastic way to boost your site's usability by making sure your customers have easy access to the most important links. Okay, I'll be honest, this isn't the most straightforward process, but once you've done it a couple of times, it'll feel like second nature. Let's break it down step by step. First, head back to your main big commerce dashboard. From there, go to the storefront section and click on web pages. This will show you all the existing pages on your website. For this example, let's say we wanna add a new page to the footer navigation menu. So we'll start by adding a new page and then filling in all the essential details. These include the page type, page name, page URL, and of course, the content. The content editor provided by BigCommerce is pretty basic, which makes it perfect for creating text-heavy pages like policy pages, FAQs, or any other informational content your customers might need. Now, here's the crucial part. To add this new page to the footer navigation, make sure to check the navigation menu checkbox. This will instantly add your page to the footer navigation. In fact, if you have any existing pages that you'd like to add to footer, just tick the same box for those pages as well. And now your updated navigation will show up in your site's footer, making it not only more SEO friendly, but also much easier for your customers to find what they're looking for. All right, let's move on to step four, editing the categories in your footer. And here's some great news. BigCommerce makes this super easy because it does it automatically for you. Let me explain. In BigCommerce, any product categories you create are dynamic, which means they're automatically added to your category's navigation menu. So there's no need to manually tweak anything in the footer itself. BigCommerce handles it all behind the scenes. All right, let's move on to step five, editing the info in your footer. BigCommerce automatically displays your contact details in the footer of your store, which is a great way to provide important information to your customers and build trust. 
But adding or editing this information can be a bit tricky if you're not sure where to look. Don't worry, I'll guide you through it. To change this information, start by heading over to your BigCommerce dashboard. From there, navigate to the main settings tab in the left sidebar menu. On the settings page, look for the setup section and click on store profile. This will open up a new page with all your contact information like your store address, phone number, and email. Simply add or edit the information here, and any changes you make will automatically be reflected in the footer section under the info widget area. This ensures your customers always have the most up-to-date details right at their fingertips. BigCommerce includes a handy newsletter widget in the footer area to help you collect email leads, which is fantastic for building your email list and boosting your marketing efforts. However, there's a catch. Editing this widget isn't possible without diving into code. The only easy option we have is to either display or hide this widget. For this example, let's hide the newsletter widget. Here's how to do it. Just like in the previous steps, start by heading over to your BigCommerce dashboard. Then, click on the Marketing tab in the left sidebar. Under the Marketing tab, click on Email Marketing. This will bring up a page with several options. Since we're hiding the newsletter widget in this example, you'll want to uncheck the Allow Newsletter Subscriptions option under the Newsletter settings. This will effectively hide the email capture form from the entire website, including the footer. Let's move on to step seven. Editing the social media links in your footer, BigCommerce provides a social media icons widget in the footer to help build trust and encourage customer engagement on your social channels. However, the options to edit this widget are a bit tucked away, so let's walk through them step by step. First, to change the design of the social media icons, head over to the Theme Styles tab in the left sidebar menu of the designer. From there, click on Header and Footer, then scroll down a bit until you see the Social Media Icons option. Depending on the theme you're using, you'll have different options to style these icons. Feel free to play around and choose a design that best fits your brand's aesthetic. Now, let's set up the links and choose which social icons to display. For this, you'll need to go back to the main BigCommerce dashboard. In the left sidebar menu, click on Social Media Links under the Storefront tab. This will open a new page where you can manage all your social media icons. Here, you can remove icons, add new social media channels, update the links, or even rearrange the order to prioritize certain platforms. While the available icons are somewhat limited, the editing experience is straightforward and user-friendly. All right, let's fine tune the finer details in your footer. This might seem like a small step, but these subtle adjustments can have a big impact, giving your store a polished, professional look and reinforcing your brand's identity. To get started, go to the Theme Styles tab in the left sidebar menu of the designer. Next, click on Header and Footer. This will bring up a modal where you can tweak various settings specific to your footer. Scroll down to the Display Settings section. Here, you'll find several customization options. You can hide the BigCommerce branding, choose whether to show or hide brands within your footer, and adjust the copyright text to better match your brand's style. BigCommerce also lets you display accepted payment methods directly in your footer. This feature not only reassures customers during checkout, but can also help boost conversions. Displaying these icons shows customers that you accept their preferred payment methods, adding an extra layer of trust and professionalism to your store. After making your adjustments, be sure to hit save to apply the changes. And just like that, the finer details of your footer are updated, giving your store a sleek, professional finish. We've made it to our final step, and this one's a fantastic feature that BigCommerce offers, global widgets. BigCommerce makes it super simple to add custom global widgets to your footer, just like any other section on your website. All you have to do is drag and drop the elements right into the footer section. It's that easy. Once you've added the widget in the footer, you can start customizing it right away. Click on the widget to adjust its settings, add your content, or tweak the design to align with your brand style. You might want to showcase your top selling products, highlight a special offer, or even include a customer testimonial to build trust. For this example, we've kept it simple and just added our logo to this section. When you're happy with how everything looks, make sure to hit save to apply the changes. And just like that, 
your footer now features a dynamic, engaging element that enhances the overall customer experience. And that wraps up our video tutorial. We've covered everything from the basics, like changing the background color and editing navigation to adding dynamic elements with global widgets. By now, your footer should look sharp, professional, and perfectly aligned with your brand. But here's something even more exciting. BigCommerce also allows you to dive into the actual footer code, giving you the freedom to design your footer from scratch for ultimate customization. If you're interested in learning how to take your footer to the next level with custom code, drop a comment below. We'd be thrilled to create a separate video just for that. And remember, if you're looking for personalized support to make your BigCommerce store truly stand out, we offer a custom BigCommerce service tailored specifically to your needs. Head over to our website to learn more about how we can help you build the perfect online store. Thanks for tuning in today and happy selling. Bye.